The time has finally come where XRP is outperforming the entire cryptocurrency market. XRP has skyrocketed over 114% and has the possibility to continue to thrive and end up being one of the top performing coins within this next bull run. Welcome or welcome back to the Finance Bull channel. In this video, I'll go over what's going on with XRP and why I think this is going to be one of the top performing coins in this next bull run. So first things first, the cryptocurrency market has finally crossed $3 trillion, which has never been this high before. When we're looking at the market cap at an all time, last time the peak was right around 2.86, $2.9 trillion. So the cryptocurrency market is bigger than it's ever been before, and it'll only continue to grow here. Bitcoin has now crossed over $90,000 and there's a lot of bullish sentiment where Bitcoin can possibly reach $100,000 by the end of this year. In the past 30 days, it's up 35% and the entire cryptocurrency market is absolutely booming. With coins like XRP, Dogecoin, Cardano, Pepe, and many other coins near or up over 100%. Now, clearly there's a lot of bullish sentiment in this market. And the reason why there's so much bullish sentiment is because Donald Trump absolutely obliterated Kamala Harris in the United States election about two weeks ago. As soon as Donald Trump was gaining votes, the cryptocurrency market immediately started to pump. And the reason behind this is because Donald Trump is very pro crypto. Earlier this year, Donald Trump attended the Bitcoin conference that was hosted in Nashville, Tennessee, and he spoke very highly of Bitcoin, Bitcoin's technology, the blockchain behind it, and the entire cryptocurrency space. And let me play a quick video to one of the reasons why XRP is pumping very, very hard over this last week. Day one, I will fire Gary Gensler and appoint a new SEC chairman. Popular. As you can see, Donald Trump said himself he will fire Gary Gensler as head of SEC and appoint somebody else, which everybody in the room pretty much stood up and started clapping because they agree that Gary Gensler has been an awful head of the SEC for the past four years. As you know, XRP has been in a lawsuit for over four years and the SEC has made tons of lawsuits over probably 100 lawsuits against cryptocurrency companies such as Coinbase, Binance, Ripple, and cryptocurrencies like Solana, Cardano, Polygon, Near, and a lot of other coins. So clearly in these past four years, the cryptocurrency market has been slightly suppressed, especially from United States made cryptocurrency projects. Going back to the chart, we can see the last time XRP was over a dollar was in 2021. And mind you, this is where the entire cryptocurrency market was in its bull run. But ever since then, it started dropping from the end of 2022 to 2023. This is the time where the FTX crash happened and the entire market collapsed to much lower prices than everyone initially expected. And the price hasn't retrieved over a dollar since this week. We saw a close spike and this was on July 13th when XRP crossed over 90 cents, but still didn't retain that $1 resistance. And this was the day that Judge Annalisa Torres ruled XRP was not a security and it favored Ripple's case against the SEC. But ever since then, it momentarily started to drop just a couple months later and it, the price has been suppressed for quite a while. Now that Donald Trump has been elected, the SEC will now likely see a new head because Gary Gensler is likely to resign as he put out one of these statements where he was thanking a remarkable SEC staff and he made a simple conclusion and odds are Gary Gensler will either resign or if he sticks out to when Trump gets inaugurated and he heads into the office, Trump will certainly fire Gary Gensler. Either way, this is extremely bullish for XRP and the entire cryptocurrency community. Now here, I'd like to show you guys this video. If you haven't seen, Brad Garlinghouse has recently made an appearance on Fox Business where he spoke about XRP and Ripple's sudden success right after the election. Take a look. Market sell-off, but not for XRP. It is exploding toward the $1 mark. Right now, it stands at 87 cents. This is a gain of 4.5%. As investors in the seventh largest cryptocurrency are optimistic about the future of the now $3 trillion industry under a Trump presidency. The blockchain payments company Ripple, which uses XRP to enable transactions, jumped dramatically since election night. And it saw big surges earlier this week on 
on speculation that its CEO held a meeting with the president-elect following his victory and speculation that anti-crypto SEC chief Gary Gensler might soon announce his resignation, which we just talked about with former SEC uh, director Norm Champ. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse is here in a Fox Business exclusive in studio to discuss all of this. Okay, a 70% gain since election day. Let me guess, you are a Donald Trump fan, at least, uh, of a presidency as he oversees a, a crypto world that he's very open-armed to. For sure. Uh, like, what a difference 10 days makes. Uh, we, for years in the United States, have had an attack on the crypto industry. It's been war. And we finally, I think, have uh, a, a, you know, a crypto president. The crypto industry has embraced Trump. Trump has embraced the crypto industry. He really has. He, he really has. I, I think it's very genuine. And I think he sees the opportunity. He sees innovation. He sees entrepreneurship. And look, the, the I'm very excited about what the future holds. I'll point out, you were saying that XRP is up 70 plus percent. Since election day, the best performing crypto assets are all U.S. companies or U.S. technologies. This shouldn't be a surprise. The, the, the United States SEC has been manipulating and putting pressure on these U.S. companies, U.S. technologies, and now that pressure comes off and they explode upwards. So we shouldn't be surprised by that. Hmm. So that is since when that it's all U.S.? That really, really, since Election Day. Okay, since, since so, Election Day, then that it, that really makes sense. It does, and if you, you can even put a number on this, like what, what has Gary Gensler's war on crypto? You can put a, an amount on it. We went from two point two trillion mm -hmm. to basically three trillion. So th this was an eight hundred billion dollar unlock, just because we now are going to have rational actors who act lawfully. You know, as, as you know well, the states have now even participated in suing the SEC and saying you are not acting lawfully and enforcing the laws. I got to ask you, the price of XRP earlier this week spasmed. It jumped about 10 percent after you liked a tweet earlier that suggested you may have met with President-elect Donald Trump. Any truth to those rumors? I mean, I think like many of your guests today, I'm not going to comment on too many specifics here. Suffice it to okay, say. Okay, that's a yes. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But I, I respect Look, that. But to me, it's a yes. Like it, we have been active throughout this election cycle in being very pro-crypto, pro-innovation. And how do we make sure that this Congress and, you know, the, the president, obviously, is it's a totally new day. And I, I could not be happier about like a, a Congress that I think is, as Norm said earlier, your guest, we got to get away from regulation through enforcement. That makes no sense. What about this yesterday, this lawsuit filed by 18 attorneys generals, I believe all from Republican states, suing the SEC, saying that they are allegedly overreaching when it comes to crypto regulation. Did you, you know that that was coming at all? We did not. And I say to all 18 of those attorney generals, welcome to the party. You know, look, we have been fighting, Ripple's been fighting this fight since the very beginning. We've spent literally over $150 million fighting the SEC, an unlawful war. And so I'm thrilled they're joined. I wish they would have joined earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, even in their case, the, 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 what they filed cites the Ripple case over and over. And so they see what has happened. They see how Gensler has overreached. And I only wish there was a way to hold the SEC, hold Gensler, hold yeah. some of these people accountable. And we should say that earlier this week, Rob Robinhood relisted XRP on its platform, driven by what they believe might be this new, more welcoming regulatory environment? For sure. I mean, this goes back to, like, the, the U.S. has finally unlocking this hostility. And I, I, I do think things like uh, Robinhood is saying, you know, I'm surprised they didn't do it sooner, but I'm glad they did it now. And, you know, I expect... Robinhood, by the way, up 37% this month alone. Nice move for Robinhood. And, and he, Vlad, is, Tenev, the CEO, has sat here and said that crypto has been a huge driver for their bottom line. I mean, he said yeah. that it actually is an order of magnitude, a 10x decrease in cost for, in order for him to trade. Brad, thanks for stopping by. It's Great really to see you, Brad. Now, as you just saw, Brad Garlinghouse spoke very highly about what's been happening over the past 10 days since the election. And there is a possibility that Brad and Donald Trump already spoke about the possibility of implementing XRP within the United States. He did not directly say it, but as you can see, he is hiding some sort of thing or he can't necessarily say it yet because it hasn't gone officially public yet. But with that being said, 18 US states have also filed to sue the SEC as Brad Garlinghouse 
and the reporter mentioned on Fox Business News. These are all coming from Republic states, and you can see a lot of people are starting to finally realize that the past four years under Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris has not been fair at all for the entire cryptocurrency community because the prices have been suppressed from lawsuits and battles and regulatory law institutions and that's been holding the entire cryptocurrency market and a lot of people have been hesitant to invest into this market because of that reason and we've seen cryptocurrency finally break that three trillion dollar market cap where it's never been before and just earlier this month before the election one day before it's been at 2.2 trillion dollars so about an 800 billion dollar market influx now another reason xrp is pumping is because president trump is considering a zero percent capital gains tax on bitcoin and crypto and as you might have heard brad garlinghouse mention that the top performing cryptocurrencies currently since the election since november 5th are united states cryptocurrencies or have u.s technologies this includes xrp cardano i believe algorand xlm and hbar these are all up an absurd amount over the past 30 days, over 100% on each of these. Now, as Brad mentioned, he is absolutely right with this, that the fact that the SEC has suppressed these prices because they've been giving out lawsuits left and right to every cryptocurrency that was made in the United States. And this obviously isn't fair, but as we move forward and appoint a new SEC under the Trump administration, we can potentially see these cryptocurrencies finally correct to a price that's more fair within the entire market and does not have any suppression. But as we know, the cryptocurrency path to altcoin season all starts with Bitcoin, which we are currently seeing, and Ethereum is slowly starting to gain momentum as well. So we're still necessarily in this phase one to phase two, and this is just the beginning of the bull run. So XRP still has a lot of room to grow because it is not altcoin season at all. It is currently at 39 out of 75 to be considered the altcoin season. And going back to XRP's price, I believe that XRP within this year can certainly reach over this one, $1.40, close to $1.50 per coin. And moving into next year, sometime mid-year, I believe XRP will top its previous bull run all-time high in 2021, which was around $2. But I have a lot of hope that XRP will surpass its all-time high of $3.84. I think XRP has a big shot at hitting $5 per coin, which would estimate the market cap currently at around close to $300 billion. So there is obviously a lot of room to grow and XRP has certainly a lot to catch up on. With that being said, let me know in the comments what your price prediction is for XRP, but I'm certain we can see close or above a $5 XRP. But as always, this is strictly just my personal opinion, so nothing of this should be taken as financial advice. But make sure you smash the like button on this video and hit subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.